Welcome back, Kingsman. I hope you guys are all doing well. <laughs> I would like to welcome you back to another Napoleon Total War 3 battle. Now, this one is on a more even map. Not a lot of trees, not a lot of uh, terrain, really. I mean, there's a couple little hills, but it is a desert map. And as you can see, we have a Prussian, Austrian, and then, well, two Russian forces. One, that's the 1812 faction. One, the 1805 to 1807. And now they're going up against uh, Rheinbund, of course, France, France, and then uh, an Iranian faction, if not mistaken, a desert faction. So it'll be interesting to see them uh, get into this battle. I'm going to go over the players at the end of it, so uh, stay tuned for that, and I'll also put the name of all the players in the description. So this is a very interesting map in that um, the attacking coalition doesn't have the LOCs. They actually have to advance to attack them. They, oh, I mean, they have some. They have, what, two, three, four? But there's three, four, five over here. Now, Russia, or sorry, not Russia, Prussia. See, that's too similar. Prussia is going for this LOC, and they are on the total flank of this French alliance. And it looks like Russia had a little bit of a uh, gorilla cav who is actually just scouting um, I don't know if they're actually going to do a ton right now, but the, being able to see which way the French are going is going to be super crucial here. As these guys are C9s, they're going to be able to run very, very fast. Ensure that, uh, ooh, this guard would be an excellent unit to hit. But don't sacrifice this scouting, scouting troops. And it looks like France is also going to be pushing for this one LOC. Um, but Prussia may not, and the thing is, Prussia is not very strong on their own, um, and they're going to have to be very cautious, and it looks like Austria and Russia are going to be pushing up to help them. Rheinbund has gotten some uh, eight-pounders up in position, getting ready to fire as soon as possible. Going to put the hurt down on uh, Austria. Now over here, it looks like Russia is probably going to be getting hit by a French and this Iran faction. So that's going to be something that's not going to be very exciting for them. I believe they are bringing a decent, decent units, actually. For the most part, they're bringing not a whole lot of squares, of course, but decent units, you know, subpar. Um, I don't see a whole lot of the guards. There we go, there's a general. That's what you want to see, am I right? Um, the other uh, Russian faction, I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to miss anything. other Russian faction is going to be bringing a lot more of this of infantry, you got some lights, some sappers. Line actually, they have some pretty good comps for units. Artillery already starting to shell these Austrian cavalry. These hussars were trying to get close. We got all this line infantry, as you can see, advancing up. Got some lights in the mix. Over here, it looks like Aust uh, Prussia and France are going to be kind of feeling each other out. Unfortunately, Prussia about to get out of there. They're going to get charged. This land war is, is going to get crushed they better run because if france gets in there then it's over and looks like they're going to commit this uh lancers from france are going to commit charging in on prussia i really would expect them to not i mean they're outnumbered right now oh uh, prussia is now going to counter attack commit into this hit these lancers and probably hit them in the back that means that france better come for reinforcements because as terrible as prussia can be sometimes in a cav battle they could break these guys but here comes some heavy grenadier cheval these guys are gonna pack a punch if they can get there in time over here it looks like austria kind of going in for some cannon wait did they they did not the cannon is way back here but they did break one of the brine buns cav over here it looks like grenadier cheval are actually gonna fall back not worry about it too much. Looks like uh oh they looks like uh that one unit from Russia tried going in for a charge, didn't really succeed, and now Prussia's gonna fall back. And uh hopefully form around this LOC, see if they can't take it, but France is pushing pretty quickly for it. Over here just still artillery from Rheinbund duking it out, putting the hurt on uh this coalition. Looks like the cab from Austria came back. And now it looks like Russia is going to be going in for... No, France is going to be going for a cap charge. Russia is going to get caught out. That's an excellent use. At that point, you got to commit. You can't run away because those guys are going to break. 
Now we got some light hussars circling around, being met by some uh, heavy Russian cavalry who are watching the flank as Russia is going to form up. Um, and over here, it looks like Russia's forming up, but they are going to be getting shot to pieces by Rheinbund. And Prussia over here, I think, is just committing for this LOC. They are determined they're to keep it. Um, they know that their cav probably can't hold a candle to uh, the French cav, which is why they're kind of keeping their distance, waiting for their infantry to come up as well as... They do have some heavy cav right here. And their medium cav as well. These guys are going to be crucial for some heavy combat. Um, or already pushing up some more land where these guys are not the greatest, but if you get a good flanking charge, they can do damage. Over here, it looks like actually... Oh, I thought that was a uh, Russian. Nothing still over here. We just kind of form it up. Prussia's kind of... All the action guys happens over here for the most part. Um, the beginning of the battle. And it kind of appears that they're just kind of faking them out. Although it looks like maybe Prussia sees some cannon. And they're going to try going in for it. But uh, France is going to commit to defending that cannon. And let's be honest, guys. They are definitely going to defend it well. Some more cap going in. But here comes Prussia again. Look at this massive push. And France doesn't know which direction to go. And they broke. They've broken the French cab over here. And they are pushing we got some heavy cav committing in against this Grenadier Cheval. If they get a flanking charge, this artillery is gone. It looks like he dropped them. He's going to have his artillery run for it, but it's not going to be enough. Can Prussia take it? If Prussia gets enough flanking charges... Oh, they're going in for some infantry as well. Oh my goodness. Prussia can make, win a massive victory here if they can just make it before France can reform. But it looks like Prussia... Oh, this is going to be a crucial flanking charge against these Grenadier Cheval. They're getting hit by four units of Prussian Cav. This is a really good Cav unit, guys. As you can't tell already, they are holding... Of course, there should be a general, I'm sure, nearby who is probably inspiring them. And uh, I think Prussia is probably going to call it quits. I don't know what this is, guys. I really don't know what that was. That was tre treachery from France. They just shot their own men. And actually, they're killing their own men shooting now. Friendly fire is huge. And France is just so disorganized right now. Just to double check over here, though, guys. Still, France is kind of advancing on Russia. Russia's trying to reform over there. I think Austria and France or Russia are going to push over there. I have some cav. What I really see is a perfect target for uh, maybe maybe some uh, cav charging here. So looks like some skirmishers from Iran are coming up, going to be uh, starting to pop off some shots. We have some cav that are moving up though. So hopefully Iran has cav backing up their infantry, or else this is going to be a disaster. Over here, Austria is going to push up on Rheinbund as Prussia has definitely taken the LLC. They may have lost cav, but they did take the LLC. Uh, but France does have this hill. So that's going to be very interesting to see how that comes about. Looks like Ryan Bun is now moving over to support Iran. Um, we got, ooh, we got Russia going in for a cab charge over here. Going for some guns. Unfortunately, they got caught out. And if France can hold them long enough. No. Oh, they can push. They're going to push. And they're going to hit these artillery from France. France was not able to stop them. And that is a massive loss for France. Now, if they, if they go for this artillery, that's a total victory. They're going to actually run away at this point. Maybe try to go for some Iranian cavalry. They may not get caught up. Looks like France is going to be going full ham. Going to advance to fight Russia over here. Over here, uh-oh. Iran's in trouble as this Russian cav unit, light cav unit, is going to be chasing him down. But it looks like Iran had some cavalry to send over. And it is over for this Russian cav unit. They are going to break, and uh, it's going to be over. Oh, what? There's no way they're going to win. Okay, yeah, they don't win. <laughs> over here now, it looks like what um, Austria is going to do is try using their superior numbers against Rheinbund, pushing up a massive line. Um, Rheinbund has some cav that are getting shelled into oblivion. I don't see a whole lot of other cav, but they need to use this artillery to even this line battle, and Austria needs to push up this line. They need to use their numbers. It looks like actually, no, France... Not Prussia. Prussia's been sitting here. 
France is going to push up and this battle for this hill. Look at this guard. Beautiful red uniforms. That's just gorgeous. It looks like Austria, or sorry, Prussia, has taken his LSC, but they are going to fall back, try to use the building for their advantage. They have some cav hovering around here. These Grenadier Cheval are probably going to charge them here as Rainbow is going to try to sandwich them, but Austria could send some cav over as well. I'm over here, let's say Rhinebund trying to make sure that their men do not get slaughtered. And uh, France still has one artillery piece, but it looks like they are going to commit to fighting uh, Russia on its f uh, front, I guess, for lack of a better word. So this is actually pretty even. You got one versus one, two V2s over here, and then a 1v1 over here as well. Um, I like it. I like how it's going. It looks like France is going to commit to this LOC. And they have some artillery that's blasting holes through Prussia. And Prussia, they got to do something with that artillery. The problem is there's spikes here, so if they're going to do anything, they got to sneak around here. Oh, it looks like some cav from Prussia. I am sorry, guys. I should have caught this. Going in for a cav charge, hitting these guys who are not forming square for some reason. They probably can't form square because they've been caught in melee, but this right flank for France is in trouble constantly. Now, it looks like Rheinbun has formed up, and they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Austria. I don't know who's going to win this. Um, got some beautiful volleys pouring off here. Over here, it looks like some cav play trying to go for Russia's guns, but Russia has plenty of cav to defend it. And France is still not advancing to the attack. They're waiting until their men get in position, and then they're probably going to advance. Russia does have a hill in that engagement, though, so that'll be an advantage. I like this push, though. Russia is going to be pushing around, hitting Iran. Um, some cav... You know, some cav got... Cav charged, <laughs> if that's even a thing. And is actually uh, trying to deal with the remainder. Oh, look at this. While France's cav is busy... They're sneaking around some calf here, and I think they can go for these guns or the back lines. These guys cannot form square right here. This is huge, and these guys are going to be exhausted and not be able to be very productive as... Yep, this calf are probably going to hit these guys and then go for the artillery. Nope, they're going in for these Grenadier Cheval who cannot form square. We got some Austrians going in over here on the flank of Rheinbund. There's too much happening at once, so I'm going to have to try to... Oh... What? These guys are wavering against exhausted Grenadier Cheval. That is unfortunate. Going in for some more Grenadier Cheval, but guys, Prussia may lose. The general inspiring them. They're going to win this. It looks like Austria and Rheinbun are clashing with the cavalry. Austria sending even more. Rheinbun is getting very close. Very close to Austria. Over here, Iran is pushing up against Russia. And it looks like, oh, actually, Russia is going to be going in for a cav charge against some guys who should be forming square, but maybe they're not. Janissaries. Oh, that is a very unfortunate. That is a very good unit. And now they're going to go in for some skirmishers. And Iran is in trouble. They need to get their cav in there. And now it looks like Austria is going to be pushing even more. Just the cav play is constant back and forth. Hitting some skirmishers. Austria is holding their own. Over here, France and Russia are holding it together on this hill. Very equal. I would say go for the artillery if you can. But it looks like Iran and Rheinbund are going to push up, hit this cav, and take them out. Over here, Prussia still has some cavalry. The problem is this artillery is going to be a big problem. And it's going to be able to... General is under attack. Go in. Oh, these guys are slightly under attack. It looks like Prussia has those cav back, and they're making a massive push for the left side of France. These uh, Grenadier Cheval need to rest. If Austria could sneak some cav all the way over here, they could definitely destroy this unit. Oh, it looks like uh, the Grenadier Cheval, exhausted as they are, are maybe going to... Are going to... Nope, they're not. Over here, it looks like Rheinbund is actually falling back. I think this tenacious cavalry engagement just back and forth is just not helping them. And so now Austria is countercharging, going for these guns. There's a square right here, which is going to break them. 
excellent use of the uh, square. And now f Iran is pushing up on Russia. Now, this is going to be a very even battle, I would say. Um, it could be anyone's game. Who would win this? Over here, France. Oh, we got some cab who is sneaking through. Some heavy cab. Going to be going for the guys who cannot form square. This is going to hurt France a lot. And they're following up with even more cavalry. And this is heavy cab, guys. This is going to smash. Um, they have some heavy cab. These cuirassiers who are going to be going in, trying to buffer the line. Got a general who's going to encourage these heavies to do work. And guys, this is going to be huge, no matter who wins. It looks like some more a Russian cab is going to be going in. Whoever breaks here is going to probably have a massive advantage on this line battle. And it looks like actually France is breaking a little bit. As now some line infantry are going in for a bayonet charge because these guys are in square formation. And that is terrible against melee. No, these cav came in. And now this can get some up and close personal volleys. And look at this. Just fight. Alright, I don't want to miss any more of the action on this side. I'm sorry, guys. There's too much happening all at once. Still the, fighting the good fight over here. Rheinbund is a little bit in trouble. Um, Russia has done a very good job of sending the cab all around. Constantly just helping out their allies. Russia and Iran are going up against it. And Rheinbund just doesn't have the numbers, guys. They just can't hold up to Austria. Over here, it looks like France is pushing for the village. This is maybe not the wisest course of action. These guys are just going to bait and charge them as they're going into the house, causing them to have... I would not do this. I would not do that. Look at this. It's going to break both these... That's the thing, guys. If you're going to take a house, you have to have your flanks protected because Prussia's just going to charge them behind these guys, and you're going to see they're going to say they were hit in the back, attacked in the flank or rear or whatever it is. They are getting attacked to the back. It didn't say, I guess. Proving me wrong. NTW3, cringe. Um, so right now, it looks like the coalition is actually winning. And these guys are using two factions I don't really like, Austria and Prussia, and they are doing an excellent job. Obviously, way better than I could. Looks like now, Russia is making a massive push, and uh, Iran sending in some of their cavalry, as well as Rheinbund, trying to break this heavy Russian cav. Over here, of course, we don't want to miss this because this is a pivotal moment in the battle. I probably already missed too much. Um, cavalry from Russia. Looks like they just pounded, pounded France into submission. And now France is in trouble trying to protect their flank. As this infantry, this Russian guard did such an excellent job of just ruining the French flank. And now they're just pushing around and France probably should fall back a little bit. They got Russia behind them, Russia to the side of them. It's very, very disastrous for them. And now it looks like Iran has a cab in the cab uh, form square. Form square, come on. Do it, form square. Oh, they have infantry charging them. That is very unfortunate. So Iran now has a cab superiority, and now Russia's in trouble. Now over here, it's still pretty dead even. Um, France, I think, is kind of being more defensive. They've been very, very, very badly bloodied. Uh, these ladies, Grenadier Cheval, are gone. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to catch everything. Even with watching the replay before, I still... It's bouncing back and forth so much. This battle is just so spread out. Over here, France is definitely in trouble. Iran is just running down these guys who cannot form square, and it's going to cause them all to break. And it looks like uh, France, or Russia over here is now falling back, hoping that their other Russian player can destroy... France, which actually looks like it is happening. Iran is doing an excellent job with their cavalry of trying to hold the flank. Over here, this is going to be a big problem for France. These guys are going to be pouring in fire on the flank. And there's nothing they can do about it. Though That flanking of fire. So now, Russia still has some cav. They still have something. Um, but France is in some big trouble over there, which is... Oh my goodness, this is disaster. I, this is what happens when cav has, like, no... Knows nothing to uh, fight against it. 
Austria's still pushing up here. Actually, some cavalry going in for a bayonet charge in the center of Rheinbund. Kind of just smashing a big hole in the middle of the Rheinbund line. And uh, this is going to be a big problem. The general, of course, running over to inspire the men. We got some cavalry. Prince Johan going in, doing a back charge against his own men, unfortunately. But, uh, oof. That is very unfortunate because it's going to cause him to break. Back charge. Uh, like, doing a charge in the backs of your men is never good for morale. So we'll say Prussia, or Prussia, yeah, going in for a cab charge, and France is in trouble. France has just been in the hurts the whole time here. Um, this artillery is still trying to put the hurt on, trying all they can. Over here, it looks like Rheinbund maybe is going to hold their own. Um, Austria maybe got a little too cocky and did a bayonet charge. And uh, that may have sealed it for them. Who knows? Because now we got some flanking uh, forces over here that are going to be taking on Austria. Russia's on the retreat now. Iran is pushing them out. Unfortunately, Austria lost their general. So Austria's actually going to lose here. It's very unfortunate for them. Um, over here, it looks like Russia is pushing on France. And uh, France is uh, in a bad way over here. Having lost a ton of troops. Russia kind of did a very good job. Kind of, sort of, did really good work. This is still concerning because in the center, it looks like the coalition has fallen. And uh, it looks like artillery now going in, trying to do some, probably a bayonet charge from Iran into this artillery. That would not surprise me. Um, Iran has definitely got the initiative here. Yep. Over here, it looks like Austria has gotten caved in. They uh, Their units didn't hold up in a bayonet charge, a mass bayonet charge against Rheinbund. And um, France over here actually is starting to hold their own a little bit. Still got the cavalry who's... Uh, keeps hitting them as they're trying to uh, defend themselves. Got yeah, guys forming up a square of sorts. And France is going to keep falling back. They just got to hold off until their ally is done cleaning up um, the alliance. The alliance is to clean up. Now it looks like, uh, yeah, Bane a charge from these light. Don't know. They uh, called it quits for now. <laughs> They're gonna fall back. We got another Prussian gun or Russian gun over here, and uh, looks like Russia is going to be holding with their Grenadiers at the LOC. Now, over here is the opposite side of the battlefield where Russia is winning. You know, Russia is just kicking their butts, which is beautiful. I love a balanced battle. Oh, we went the wrong way. Um, they held their ground, and now uh, they got to defeat France quickly so they can come to the, their allies' aid. The Rheinbund's probably going to come over here and reinforce their French ally because... Uh, France is hurt. We have, like, what, what? Five, six, seven units of infantry that are trying to hold. And the why, the beautiful thing that uh, Prussia is doing is they're going on the flank. These guns can't shoot over this hill. You see, there is a massive angle. There's a hill here that's going to stop these shells from doing any damage. And I like how they're forming up here. They got their really good infantry on the flank. And uh, France knows it, and they are falling back. But here comes Rheinbund. I mean, obviously, Iran has got this. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you can see what they have. I actually never looked at their unit comps, and I apologize for that. These are some... Actually, I don't know this faction very well. I don't know if this is a good fact. This is a good... Uh... These look like they're peasants. I think this is a good unit. But, uh, I think that's a good unit, too. 
as is that, but I think these three are not the most good. Okay, so some cab went in. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't stay on top of it. So uh, France is gone. Russia went in for a bayonet charge. At least I can tell you what happened. Russia went in for a bayonet charge and uh, cleaned up France. So now France can come to the help of Russia. Or sorry, Russia can come to the help of Russia. We got some artillery here who I'm assuming are going to uh, do some artillery kills. Yeah, doing some, uh, some grape shot. That is going to hurt a lot. And it broke them. What Iran... Well, Iran can't really do anything about that. Um, they kind of have to push. Over here, this sh this uh, battle has shifted. As France just keeps shifting on the hill, not getting flanked, fighting for it, and Prussia keeps pushing. Prussia just keeps pushing. Um, Austria is starting to lose out. This war of attrition is starting to be uh, too much for them. Prussia can't hold on forever. Um, they got no reinforcements. So, over here, this artillery. Oh, they're not going to get another shot off, are they? Just for the sake. Just for the sake. Okay, so they are breaking their guns off, and they are actually going to run for it. Some of the guys are like, yeah, no, we're going to run. They actually distracted a really good unit of infantry as well. So, uh, oh, man. Very interesting what's going to happen there. So now I just got to take, pay attention to only two sides of the battlefield. Rheinbund, I'm not sure where they're going. Um, but I think France should be okay. It's going to be very close, but I think France has got this. If I were to guess, if I were a betting man, I would say France has this. Sorry, the audio is really loud. I'm just realizing that now. Like, it's extremely loud. This artillery is still not really... I think it's hitting this building. I'm not sure. We got some artillery from Prussia over here. And this line battle is turning out to be very, very interesting. Over here, I think Rheinbund is going to be going to meet Russia. And uh, Iran is... Not doing what I thought they would do. I mean, Russia has got this house. They barely lost anyone. Uh oh, officer down. I hope it wasn't like the big officer. Big head honcho. Um, no, this is very, very smart of Russia. They, uh,. Have their, they just got to hold out until Russia, other Russia gets there. Russia on Russia. Over here, it actually looks like some artillery is actually doing a little bit of damage from Prussia. Now, Russia needs to hurry up because this Prussian faction may not actually do the greatest job of uh, taking them on. Although, they are chipping away at France. Prussia is doing an excellent job of chipping away, and uh, Prussia's got numbers, so. So long as Prussia keeps the men in the back lines to boost, her, boost the morale, this is going to go perfect for them. These are some really good units of French infantry, though, so they are going to hold off to the bitter end, I would suspect. Um, over here, it looks like, actually, Iran and Rheinbund have a small welcoming party for Russia. Over here, it also looks like um, Iran is dead going to commit. They are going to do the committing. Oh. 
Okay, so LLC right now is in favor of the coalition, I would say. Maybe not. Um, no, it is. It is, because they have this one as well. Oh, Rheinbund has shown up with some troops. This is going to be a huge bolster for France as Prussia is starting to just lose men. Like, these guys are getting focused down like crazy. Um, Prussia is doing an excellent job of holding. They're doing the best job they can. So now Russia is just buying time. They're wasting Iran's time. Um, not sure what Russia is doing. I think they're actually just going to go over this hill because they are getting shredded by Iranian artillery fire. It's actually breaking some of their units. And Iran has a bunch of artillery. So the Rheinbund has their artillery stuck here. They can't do anything, unfortunately. But uh, it's really dependent on who's going to win this. And it looks like actually France has decided to fall back. And it looks like Rheinbund is uh, pushing up on the left. Maybe they're trying to force them to split up. But see, this is a problem. Why would you isolate your ally? Because these two guys are going to get shot to pieces. And look at this. France is starting to break over here. They're just focusing on them, and yep, this is going to continually be a crumbling... Uh-oh. Whose general died? Wait, was this... Iran didn't see the stakes. <gasps> that was a mistake. Heh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Um, <laughs> Iran's general did not see Russian stakes, and they lost their general. That is so unfortunate. How, how extremely unfortunate. We see now France is realizing they don't got this. Rheinbund is trying their best to uh, help their ally out, but they should consolidate. You know what I would do? I'd pull these guys out. Just pull them out, 145 45 men. Make them, for force them to turn around and fight you, you know? Just do that. That's what I would do, but then again, I probably would do a lot of different things. Oh my goodness, Iran is starting to break, guys. They cannot hold a candle. But, Rheinbund is starting to um, put some work on Prussia, and Prussia is starting to feel the hurt, as is France, so it depends on who breaks first. Um, Prussia is losing, it looks like, two units now. Um, but Iran is starting to really get hurt here. They're trying to go around. They don't have enough troops in a circle. Rheinbund should have joined maybe this force. Um, this is going to be a very long game because Russia's all the way over there. So as you can see, actually, France is getting some help from their ally. And Prussia is now falling back. Come on, Prussia. Pull these guys out of the house. Prussia, I think, is going to try to reform maybe a little bit. Um, two of those in the house, like right over here, they could just march to that and hold. It's an excellent place always to hold. When in doubt, hold the house. <clears throat> Russia is just sitting here. I am really surprised. Oh, well, it's not a whole lot from Iran here, but, you know. Russia is just basically going to be forced into a back-to-back -back defense, which is actually what Iran is using as an excellent tactic, <clears throat> going on both sides, getting some crossfire. And uh, they still got their artillery crews here, guys. Look at this. And these guys in the house have been taking pot shots this whole time. Oh no, another officer. No, wait, is that another officer? Yeah. Two officers down. A lot of officers right here. My whoa! Oh, that's a general staff. That's why. 
We got some Cav who's probably going to try to go in for a charge here. Either that or they're going to go for some... Uh-oh. I think he sees an opportunity to take out some Russian guns. And he's going to take it. Um, please tell me that. Yeah. Russia sees it. Oof. Okay, unlimit your guns. Come on, Russia. Come on, Russia. That is... No, maybe these Russians are going to hold... Oh, they're broken too. That's very unfortunate. Now, over here, Russia is breaking against a combined French Rheinbund push. And, um... Yeah, there's not a whole lot you really can say at this point. I mean, they've done an excellent job of chipping away at France, but France just keeps turning that flank away and uh, just letting Rheinbund swing around on the flank. Oh, France lost another one. They have four units left. Don't go for a bayonet charge, unless you have no ammo. They better be not be out of ammo. If they're out of ammo, it's over. So, that battle's still going on. Oh, some calf from Rheinbund I missed. Um, going in for another calf charge. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. And um, it looks like... Uh, oh, oh. Frederick. Here we go. They're going in. They're going to die against this uh, square. And that is going to be it for the Rheinbund calf. Nope, maybe not. Um, over here, it still looks like um, Iran is trying their best to encircle Russia. Now, Russia sent their their artillery. Oh, wow. Well, oh, that's unfortunate. The general just saw these guys going to the guns. They tried. I'll give them props. They tried. Um, and now they are fighting for this house. Oh, if only Russia could have come across to help them. They could have taken out Iran. That would have been amazing. Uh-oh, you got two guys who decided they're going to stay. And um, I'm not sure what Russia's doing over here. Maybe they're just going to hold this LLC. Maybe they think they can't hold the LLC and it would work. Oh, we have Iran sending up some horse artillery now and I think Prussia just unfortunately just had too many too many men lost on this hill isn't it interesting how the tables have turned now Prussia is fighting for the hill in, Russia, in uh, France my goodness can't talk France is the one fighting against it we have some artillery who's going to start blowing some massive holes and Prussia unfortunately maybe needs to fall back to their LOC. Which is very unfortunate. Um, Iran has some units left. They're trying to, I think, booster the morale of these guys. Um, Russia is actually holding really well. All matters considered. The um, thing they have to consider is maybe they're getting some friendly fire here. This guy's sitting by window, just drumming while he sadly looks out the window. He's like, well, this is it for me. Might as well, you know, drum, drum to my life's content. Alright, so I believe Prussia is almost being cleaned up. They're going to go for this LOC, and that is going to be it. Now. Now. Russia, I think... Okay, so they're going to go up against a Rheinbund Iranian 
army, and my goodness, Iran has plenty of troops left. And it looks like they're gonna go for this LC. Russia over here won so well that I was really hoping they would uh, do something. The men of fatigue, sir, I must rest a while. So maybe these guys should go around the side because, yikes, they're gonna break very soon. Yeah, they're breaking. And now it's just a house. It's a pity they weren't cow. <laughs> this general is still chasing down these cannons. <laughs> Alright, so we have Austria now, or Prussia, sorry. Probably falling back to the LC, and um, this battle's kind of slowing down a little bit. So I'm going to fast forward here, right? Just keep an eye and see what they do over there. Prussia, uh, Russia is still surrounded. Other Russia, maybe he's going to go help them. Let's see what they do real fast. It looks like Iran is just doing the, the long, in for the long play. They're going to sit there and just shoot this house to oblivion. Just holding the house. Iran better not go in vain and charge it. Because they're going to lose if they do that right now. Over there, it looks like Prussia has fallen back to the LLC. And everybody's holding out other LLCs. It's literally it. It looks like Iran is going to be advancing to the house. Oh, and a bayonet charge over here. It looks like Russia is trying their best to hold out against Iran, but they're going to get swallowed up. <coughs> Excuse me. And now they're going to go in for the house. Another bayonet charge here, and it looks like it is a last desperate stand. But I think it's going to break some of these guys, to be honest. Yep, it broke them. It's always dangerous to do a bayonet charge in a house. It can make or break you. And uh, Iran just lost a ton of units there. Uh, Rheinbund now going up against Russia. Four units of Rheinbund. And Russia's got this. I believe in Russia. They don't have the hill. Rheinbund has the hill. But they don't have the troops. And these guys are probably... Yeah, they're shaking already. And uh, Russia is just going to send more troops along the side. Iran needs to get here. There we go. This is going to help. As now it's going to be dead even, although, man, Rainbow is really hurting. Over here, now I think Iran is realizing they can't just take this house. One does not simply we take a house. They must break. Okay, whose general died? Wait. 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 Rheinbund's general died? I'm all confused. So over here, I don't know where France went. I think France is just sitting on this field of dead. They're just sitting there. So, um, the final decisive battle is going to be right here. And it looks like Rheinbund engaged before, um, Iran could get there. And Iran's not even within range, so... That's going to be very bad for them. <sighs> These are some pretty fresh troops, too. They have not lost a whole lot. So, uh... I'm going to be very encouraged to see what they can do. I like all the hills. It's like a fight for the hills, you know? Got a general. Who's thinking about charging some guys who can form the square? We got Russia still holding. 
Actually, I think they're going for the other LOC, and they're going to win by LOC victory because there is 14 minutes left. And no one has the three-pointer, I don't think. So at this point, Austria is just hunkering down. Russia is hunkering down. Another Russia is trying to win this line battle. Which uh, they may lose. Oh, these guys are pretty shaken up. He's sitting here like so close, just taunting him. Shaka! I have no hat and you are stupid! And uh, Rheinbund is falling back. And a general going in. Very odd use of your general, because these guys are probably going to try to form square, if I'm not mistaken. Although they may actually break. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Russia needs to push out and go help the other Russian faction. This is huge. Rheinbund is losing so many troops right now. General making the big plays. I don't know who's going to win this, guys. I really don't. I really wish I knew who's going to win. Or well, actually, no. I will find out. I don't wish to know. I know. So we got a general here. The slaughter on the house. These guys are just like, oh, is it over? Is the battle over? They hear the roll of musketry fire still coming around. So um, it looks like Rheinbund is going to be pushing for the guys around this house. Not going to work too well. And um, if I, I would not advise them trying to take this house. That is a bad idea. As uh, if they do, they're just going to get charged in the back. I don't think that actually France has it. I think... I think Russia, Russian alliance is going to take this as Rheinbund is almost gone. And, um... Come on, Russia, get out of the house. Just get out of the house. <laughs> it looks like actually Russia, watch out for Russia. They will do bayonet charges on you and it will destroy you. So they're going to be pushing up. Um, who's going for a house? I know someone is. Okay, so Rheinbud decided to go for a bayonet charge on the house. It's probably not going to do very well. They're going to get charged in the back, as you can see, as soon as they go into the house. It's going to cause them to get flanked, lose morale fast, and go bye-bye. Now, at this point, this guard is going to come down and try to do what Rheinbund could not do, but I don't think it's going to work. At this point, um, France is going to break over here, and Prussia has won this LOC. They have the numbers. I just don't want to see them madly charge into a house. I don't want to see them do throw away such good units on a house. You know? There are better things than that. So Russia's actually going to fall back to uh, this LOC. Make it difficult for Iran. And Iran's probably like, not again. I'm going to fast forward because this battle will hopefully come to a close one way or the other. Um, ooh, we got Rheinbund's general. Hovering on the flanks. Alright, I'm sorry. I know I keep going into there, but it's the fastest way to zoom in here. So, France has got opted for a, a lion battle against the city. Have Prussia fighting them in the streets, in the houses. Um, France is probably going to be outnumbered, outgunned, and get flanked like crazy. 
This is so annoying. I'm going on both sides of the battlefield at the same time. Ugh. All right, here we go. So it looks like Ryan's general was trying to commit here. Like, ooh, I'll general duel you. And so he's gonna go in against some infantry. Um, don't think it's gonna work very well. In fact, both sides are gonna just walk away from it. All right, time to fast forward again because uh, everyone's taking their sweet time. All right, so someone else got another, yep, Russia got another building. And uh, this coalition is definitely taking this. They are gonna defeat France over here. Well fought by Prussia. They definitely deserve that victory. Um, they fought very hard for it. Uh, going up against, you know, Rheinbund and um, even a little bit of Iran, I believe. Maybe not. Yeah, some Iranian artillery. Speaking of Iranian artillery, it's right over here. And it's starting to fire. And it is, we've seen enough of these to know what's going to happen here. Ryan Bun General trying. His men are inspired to see their general, you know, <laughs> fighting and dying, of course, but, you know, fighting mainly. And that's the last stronghold of France is going to die over there. And it is up to Iran to take this before the timer of six minutes runs out. So let's see if they just do some volleys. I'm kind of curious what they're going to do here. You got Ryman pushing on one flank. They're pushing on another flank. That is very good. But obviously Russia is just going to, you know, move around to uh, watch out. In fact, I would just keep you on this house. It's artillery, you know. Use this hill. And now it's a race for the hill, maybe. As a... Ooh, boy. Uh-oh. Ryan Putin's starting to break here. Possibly. Russia's starting to break here. Oh, this is very close. Too close. Reinforcements showing up on that side. Russia's done an excellent job of... Uh, this is just so close. And this is it, guys. If you look at the menu app, this is it. This is what it boils down to. I don't, I don't know if Russia has it this time. I really don't know if they have it. Fighting with their backs against the walls. On both sides. Shelling the house into oblivion and pushing on it. Oh, they broke the infantry on this side. It's just skirmishers. They can turn and face. Uh-oh. Turn and face this other force. You can do it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. They did send their infantry out. Go, Russia. Russia with the freaking strong carries. We got some lights who are going to be rushing in. And it looks like Russia is... Okay, they're going to counter bayonet charge them. Oh, they broke them before they even hit. All right, Russia can hold this. I believe in them. Utilizing the edge of the map to make sure they don't get flanked too much more. They've taken out that artillery up on the hill. And now it's a last desperate defense around this house. This is an epic last stand. As Iran and uh, Rheinbund are just going to push. They have some guys coming back on this side. Look at these guys. They're just stuck in between. They just don't know which direction to go. They literally don't know which direction to go. 
Ah, oh, poor guys. They're stuck in the middle of a crossfire. This is the real victim of wars, guys. The guy's stuck in a crossfire. <laughs> Alright, here comes Russia. Coming to help their ally out as they have taken these other LOCs. Oh, no. So it looks like actually France went in for another bayonet charge, but they lost. So uh, Prussia was able to hold. Russia just needs to hold this LOC and they win. It's boiling down to that. But Russia is starting to break. They need to form up by the house, maybe. Oh, they're doing a bayonet charge. They're winded, tired. Do a bayonet. No, what are they doing? Yikes. Come on, Russia. We got some grenadiers coming. They can do it. I believe in right. I'm, I'm rooting for the underdog at this point. This last stand is epic. They still have some good units here. They have their, their general in here. As well as some grenadiers, I believe. Some, no, some guard. Look at these guys. And um, I think they won the LOC victory. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, I think they won the LOC victory, which was awesome. Well played. Because um, they had that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And even if they had the one and the two, they didn't have this. So LOC victory for the Russian coalition. Well played on all sides. It was an awesome game. Uh, thanks to the Prussian player, Isaiah. I hope I'm saying your name right. But uh, well played. Um, we can see he actually caught almost as many kills. The other Russian player, Le Kraken, really helped defend um, the right side. If he had fallen, then it would have been over. Iranian and Rheinbund um, kind of pulling through. Well, they all did a good job. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for more. If you're not subscribed and you want to become a Kingsman and join the ever-growing throng of uh, Total War history fans. I'd love to have you. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.